morning. It's so nice to see everybody again on Crochet Soiree. I'm Mary with Everything Mary, and I have another few projects to show you today on jewelry making with crochet. Here we have a necklace that I have done with uh, your crocheted flower moffets, and then we've done some very interesting earrings here, and I'm going to show you how to do this earring. But to begin with, I just want to show you some of the different cool things you can do by just crocheting a small moffet. This is just like a, the doilies we make, uh, smaller size, and you can almost take any doily pattern around will work. And then, as you can see, I have added some crystal beads in the center, and then one here connecting these two to just make a little bit longer dangly earring, as you probably noticed I like the big long dangly earrings. And then this one we've just used a multicolor thread and done another just little doily flower moffet and then put it on an earring. We've done the same with these except I've just put them on a chain, a store-bought chain that you can buy in any of your craft stores. So it's a fairly easy project but look how nice it looks when it's finished. So let's get started. The main thing I want to show you is to make sure you leave a long tail before you start crocheting. So you just start like this and you just make your chain to make your circle. Now I'm not going to go in with a, in to a lot of instructions on this as far as the crochet work goes because as I said before you can take any doily pattern and just make maybe the first three rows of it. And also, I gave you a really great flower pattern that I used on the t-shirts, the big flower pattern Moffat. But we can make it smaller, that's what I've actually done for this. And we can make it smaller because we are going to use first a mercerized cotton that's much, much thinner. And then secondly, we're going to use this little bitty tiny crochet hook that I can hardly see anymore, but it does the job great. So what we will do is make our moffet just like this. And when we get it done, we'll cut it off. Now no, remember, we left the string long to begin with on the first part of the moffet. And so at the end, we want to leave another long string. So when you're finished, it'll look something like this. And then I'm going to take a bead. You can take a bead or anything you'd like. Actually, you could even leave this uh, open in the center would be fine too. But I like to strand, put a, one bead through this strand and just slide it all the way down here. So I'm going to take a silver bead, I like these beads, and I'm going to put it, slide it all the way down to the center of my Moffet. And then I'm going to take my crochet hook and come in from the back and pull the thread behind it. Now when I get the thread pulled behind it, I'm just going to start work, working it around to hide it. And just uh, going through, I'm sure you've done this before, with just kind of coming through and, and getting your thread so that it's kind of hidden in the back. So when you've got it through enough, I like to kind of bring it back around and knot it a few times. Or actually I should say make it as a knot a few times by just wrapping it around and weaving it in and out. Also, if you want, you could take a little piece of glue and just stick a little bit of glue on the back of this and that'll secure it also. And then you're going to just cut this off. Just like this. And your bead will stay secure as long as you've just really worked it around a little bit. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take and thread this through one of your jewelry hooks. So I'm going to cut it because this yarn is just a little bit frayed. So I cut it and you just bring it through here like this. Now we are going to do absolutely the same thing we were doing before where we just come through and keep pulling your thread through to hide the thread and it also knots it and holds your loop. And on this one I usually do go ahead and put a little bit of glue behind it just so that I know it's way more secure and stable before I cut it off. 
And there you have it. How cute is that? Just a wonderful, nice little ear set of earrings. On the necklace, we just did the same thing. We came through the loops of the chain and just tied them off so that you can see that it just makes a great, great look and a little bit different to added look to your jewelry. Thank you so much for being with me today on Crochet Soiree. Hope to see you next time. Bye now.